Hi everyone, um, it's already getting dark here in Ottawa, it's 5 p.m. and now I'm ready to share another tips about how to learn faster using neuroscience. How much do you remember from the tests that you took in your school days or some important English exam? Do you remember any of these complex English words that probably you got it right but you don't remember at all right now? Do you know why you don't remember this? So what I found was that when our brain encounters new information, it asks these two questions. So first, can I understand this? Second, will I use this again? Let me repeat again. Can I understand this? And will I use this again? So when you are taking this complex test, did you convince yourself that you will actually use this later? Probably not. That's why you are not remembering until now. Probably you it went to your short-term memory and you did a test and as soon as you took the test, the brain said, I don't need this, I will delete. Because you failed to answer these two questions as yes. And that's why you don't remember anything that you learned from the past. So what you do now is that whenever you encounter new information, when you feel that uh, this seems to be a bit too much for me right now, then you stop because even if you try hard just to read through, because you're, you don't think that you will understand this and because you don't, you don't think that you will use this again, there's no need to put your energy into this right now but rather what you need to do is go back to something more basic and interesting find spark the interest first find the questions that you are you are curious about first and then build some building blocks about the terminologies and the concept and the the historical background behind when it happened and about the person who invented it, perhaps listen to their podcast a little bit and watch some videos watch some movies about that era and uh, read some kids books that usually they're really good at um, telling stories about very interesting things intriguing facts that piques your curiosity once that's there then you could go to ChatGPT and ask, hey, uh, tell me about this, 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 and I think this is that, and is it true? And is this how it works? Then once you, once you build those building blocks, then you can come back and say, okay, now let me try it again. If you still find it difficult, then you can look at the summarized version of the text, something that is more easily explained and someone who is really good at explaining things in a simpler way, you could also ask ChatGPT, explain this to me as if I'm five years old, as if I'm 10 years old, and things like that. And then once you have a good grasp of the basic concept, then you can go back and read more complex text, um, complex concept about that. That's how you can remember things.